Now we're going to talk about the pencil tool, the fourth tool down in the toolbar. To be honest, the pencil tool is something that I have rarely, if ever, used in Illustrator or Affinity Designer on the desktop. I'm interested to see if it starts getting more use for me on the iPad. The purpose of the pencil tool is to let you draw freehand and the program will lay down nodes and curves as needed to follow your path. Watch me draw this swirl. You can see how curved nodes have been laid down along the path to create the line that I was drawing. This tool looks like it will be more useful with an Apple Pencil, which I don't currently have. You can see down here in the contextual menu that there are controller options. For example, you can choose to have a pressure one, which only works if you have an Apple Pencil that will allow you to do the pressure sensitivity on the screen. Other options like velocity can be used with just your finger. You can see how the line gets thicker as I draw with more velocity. If you hit the arrow to see more options, you'll get these stabilizer options, which appear to be more useful if you have an Apple Pencil. There's rope stabilizer, no stabilizer, and window stabilizer. Essentially, the stabilizer tries to draw a more clean curve for you. So if I have no stabilizer, like so, and if I have a rope stabilizer, you can see that it is a little bit more clean, but I'm told it works better with the pencil. Back to the main contextual tab, we have a few more options. The one is a toggle called Sculpt. This will allow you to draw with the pencil, pick up your hand, and continue drawing on the same line rather than starting a new line. Just turn it off if you don't want to do that anymore. I'll just hit the trash can in the bottom left corner to delete that. You can see you also have options for the width of your line. You can just scrub or tap to enter a value directly. You can also adjust the color of your stroke. Or add a fill. That's all for the pencil tool. Our next video will go over the vector brush tool.